What's going on everybody? Tinkering with the old Harley Davidson. Uh, but this tip might apply to any vehicle actually, any motorcycle, any car, any anything with hydraulic brakes. If you're having trouble just keeping brake pressure, you know, and you've already bled everything out, even done a, uh, you know, a caliper rebuild, you've done pretty much everything you can think of and you're still not maintaining brake pedal pressure, like, uh, you know, if you haven't ridden the bike in a day or so, and you come back and your brake is just pushed all the way to the floor, and you have to pump it up, you know, to get brake pressure, here is something to check. All right, here's our brake line coming out here. If this end of your brake line, let's see if we can... Zoomer in. All right, if you know, like here's where your uh, your little crush washers, you know your little your little brass crush washers here. Here's where they would go on each side of and where the banjo bolt goes through there. But if this surface right here, if this surface is really cruddy. You know, either has rusty buildup or a lot of pits in it. This is a very important sealing area on both sides here. If yours looks crusty or even has rust, paint, you know, any kind of buildup on this surface right here, here's what you do. Get you a plain old hand file. And, um, I mean, you can do this while it's still on the bike, whatever. And these are probably going to be on an old bike anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What you need to do is file this surface perfectly flat. This surface right there. And do both sides. You know, you can you know, either, if it'll reach, you can put it on the ground and do it on, the, on, your, on your shop floor. Or you can just set it on, you know, your your frame right here and just file it, you know, keep going, just hold it steady and just keep filing it nice and straight. And it'll eventually, like this particular one, had a good bit of buildup I noticed around this rim here. And I just filed it nice and clean. And then you'll have to blow it out also because you'll have metal particles in there. So make sure you clean all that out when you're finished. And you may want to uh, replace your, your little crush gaskets. These little guys here, you may want to replace these also if they've gotten deformed and aren't sealing like they should, they may need replacing. And then put her back together and do a nice brake bleed on it. And, excuse me while I zoom back. You know, just do a brake bleed. And, um, that might solve your problem. Especially on uh, any, any older vehicle that's, if you haven't done a brake bleed in a long time, really long time, I highly recommend you do that first and foremost. But, uh, you know, if everything else has been attempted and it's still not keeping brake pressure, you're obviously, and you're, you don't see any leaks anywhere but you've got fluid. That's just a possible area that, that needs investigating. Anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, this is our good old, our good old hog here. This is a bike, you know, I did a couple of videos earlier today on it. Uh, this old girl, we got as a complete rolling basket case and it was in rough shape i mean it ran but not really i wouldn't call it running you know it sort of ran so we did a whole lot of stuff to it i mean the engine was in good condition you know it's a road king engine i want to say it's a mid-2000s road king engine in a rigid uh frame 
it's got a hodgepodge of stuff on it. And uh, so yeah, look through our previous videos. I'll put a link to the playlist of all sorts of stuff we did to this old thing. And um, it runs really good now. I'm very impressed with how it runs. Uh, you know, it's got probably a variety of 20 years or more of parts. And, um, but ended up really good. I mean, we haven't completely gone through everything else, which is why the brakes are having an issue right now. But all kinds of other stuff. You know, we did a complete wiring job. All new wiring harness. Uh, we used the Ultima box on the wiring harness. It's got a variety of years of a soft tail, you know, oil tank, BDL 3-inch exposed uh, primary drive. This is a hand shifter with a clutch on it, so you actually shift gears by bumping this lever. It's a, it's a hoot to, to operate. Uh, you know, Springer front end, spoke wheels, chain. Can you see this down here? It's a chain final drive. But this is also the brake rotor. So some of you may have heard of that, you know, where the rear sprocket is also the brake rotor. So you have to keep it clean, obviously, which is also a, a trick within itself if you're keeping the chain lubed and all that. So yeah, this is a chain final drive with a brake rotor all in one piece. Pretty nifty. And um, I'll put a list of what all was done, you know, off the top of my head. But this thing is something else, you know. It's a 2004 uh, Street Glide OEM gas tank with the fuel injection removed. So it's got the fuel injection EFI delete on the top because it's a carbureted bike, you know, SNS Super E carb, Pingle. Petcock. Had to do some adapters to get that fitted. Yeah, it's a it's a hoot. Uh, it's a Chopper Guys block, which I can't find anything else on them. You know, this this bike was just a lot of different parts put together, and uh, we got her going. Anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's just something, something else to check on your brakes if you can't keep brake pressure. See if you can file smooth on the brake line, you know, where the where the uh, banjo bolt goes through it. Worth a try, at least. Anywho, that's it. We're watching a little snow skiing here in Atlanta, Georgia. But, you know, we like to watch extreme sports and stuff on TV and have fun while we're working and all that, you know. Because it makes the job a little more enjoyable. But that's it. Uh, Google Horsepower House and make sure you uh, look at our eBay store. We got all kinds of specialty parts and tools, you know, kind of unique things that you don't find just anywhere all the time. So that's kind of what we pride ourselves in. So have a scroll through our eBay store. You might be surprised at the stuff you find, especially if you like working on your own stuff. And uh, that's it. Y'all have a good evening. We shall see y'all later.